All right, yeah, I, I think we're works. live. What's going on, You're everyone? Live. Hello. Yeah. Hey, everybody. You, as you just saw, Super Sean was on Coast to Coast just for weekend. Didn't mean to cut into your time, but. Yeah. Yeah. I, I always like improv stuff like this, too, though, you know, when you just kind of. Same. Just kind of winging it, too. Because it, it, it's funny, because like you were saying just right now before we uh, went live, uh, we didn't even really have any ideas really what we were even doing, you know, like even just, just me and mm. you on it, you know? Well, it's like, like we knew we were going to show the books that you got today, but. Well, it's like I was, uh, as we were watching Raj's show, I was like, we could just try and hop on there. And he's like, well, I already set the stream up. I know. Like, I had literally <laughs> just finally finished like scheduling the stream. I'm like, yeah, that'd be awesome. But like YouTube's still saying that we have a show on our channel, you know, like, but like if, if, cause I was having issues with at first, like setting it up. Yes. Like if I wouldn't have, if I wouldn't have gotten it, then yeah, we could have just done that. But. Hey Perry, hey issues. Good to see you guys in the chat. Hey, just freaking. Yeah, NYC's Rod. in there. We're still just coming back <laughs> off of our hiatus, our MIA, Missing in Action. But we did get some books. Yeah. And we do got <laughs> Stay Puff here, Sean. So thank you all for joining us. We, we were saying that our show might, time might be negotiable. Like there's a chance we will look into doing five or six or seven or whatever time no. it is now. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's okay. You know, I'll, I'll find the way. You know, it's, it's always a way. That's true. Yeah. That, that and, is true. And like, uh, I think it was Jeffrey that was saying it on Coast to Coast. Like, you know, with how rapidly expanding the community is getting, oh, you yeah. know, it's like it's it's getting to the point where it's impossible not to be overrun on somebody, somebody else's. else's. Right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. what I've noticed since I've been back it, active in the community i'm seeing so, so many more faces all over the mm -hmm. place and i'm loving it because it's just like it's so crazy how incredible this community is and turning everybody into just such great friends and it it's just so awesome that it i, I love it it's crazy like, it's all like how it like happens too because like how you see the crossover between instagram and youtube and yeah it's it's just crazy because it, it's actually all just happened just really really organically and stuff too but it's like it's it's, awesome. it's crazy. It's crazy because like how fast it is and how close everyone gets at the same mm -hmm. time and and I don't know. It's in, it's and I've kind of like been in. I, I don't want to say stuff like this, but like like Twitch streaming, it's somewhat like this. Like mm -hmm. a lot of people on that platform, they 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 kind of talk like they're kind of like how this community is, but they're they weren't. It's like far this. from it. They're a lot yeah. more territorial. Like you know. They don't want you even talking, mentioning that you're a streamer on someone else's stream or something. You know, like mm. it's mm. it's a right. different animal over there for sure. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, we we got as a community. You know, it's great how you know I started on Instagram mm -hmm. and slowly and and I've watched YouTube comic book uh, people before prior to Instagram, but now it's grown so big. You know, with all the influx of new content creators. That is like wow, this is bigger than what it was before back when mm -hmm. I was watching in 2013, 2014. So yeah. oh, by it, it's crazy. Well, and it I is. just noticed that it's like I, I did my four hundred follower giveaway not too long ago and now I'm already close to five hundred. I'm like, what well, where is this coming mm -hmm. from? But it's just being so much more active and it's just so awesome. Yeah, the more active you are, the more followers you get. Mm -hmm. Because exactly. I remember when I started on Instagram, you know, it, it was a slow build until I started using the IG comic family hashtag. And then mm -hmm. that's when I started meeting more of the people who use that hashtag, follow that hashtag. And yeah. that's when the influx of followers came. Because, exactly. you know, exactly. Yeah. It's funny you say that because, like, he would always tell me when we were first getting into the community, he'd always be like, Yeah, use these hashtags. And I'm like, I don't want to use them because I don't know anybody in the community. And that's just weird. I don't know anybody. Mm -hmm. And then I got to know more people. And now it's like every single post I do, you bet there's definitely the two hashtags IG Comic Community and IG Comic Family. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's like a second language. It's just, yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. And, and I, I was like you when when I got tagged. I was like, oh man, what am I supposed to do with this? You know, <laughs> right? but you know, I learned it, and and it became a fun thing to do. You know, because you it got you looking through your collection, like what book I want to share for this tag. You know, and exactly. they come up with some wild creative creative tags. 
And I'm like, all right, I got something for that, you know. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh, it is, uh, you were the first person to ever tag me in anything, and it took probably about the fifth or sixth tag for me to respond and actually try it out because I was like, I don't know what this is. I don't know what to do. I don't know this. And then I just, mm -hmm. like, I started doing it, and it's been just uh, a blast honestly, ever since. Honestly, I, I, I think love it was doing him it. That, him that got me really doing it, too, actually, mm -hmm. I think, too. Oh. Yeah, because it, it, it brings, you know, the community together in terms of sharing what we love, you know. Mm -hmm. And exactly. when when and I get to see books that I don't have in my collection, like man, that's awesome. You know, I I love that cover. So you yeah. know, it definitely brings out what we love in comic books and, and collecting and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So that's why the tags are great. You know, sometimes I don't answer every tag because you know it's hard to do so many yeah. tags in a day. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it is by sometimes, far. Another... Sometimes I'll do like one big post and I that that one book can handle like eight tags. And I was like, yeah, that, that's my yeah. book right there. Well, it's like I noticed yeah. I'd be getting tagged in multiple times for the same one that I'd be like, I'm just going to edit this picture, add that name. There, I already did it. See, done and mm -hmm. done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because once you've been doing it for a while, like you're saying, there's so many, you know, like mm -hmm. how, like we are saying, so many, it's rapidly expanding, more people doing it. So, yeah, you get a lot, like... So I do have one book that I was going to show that I picked up today. I'm stoked you got this. When I went to the comic book store, um, they were having a signing of a local guy that's been there. And I was just like kind of having a slight anxiety attack for whatever reason. <laughs> I was being super awkward, but I was able to pick up our books. And it's like our hold got so overloaded yeah. that they give us they gave us our own short box just for us in the back but, wow. yeah they moved it to the back because it was like we had so much and so i've just slowly kind of been cleaning things out and um last night i'd been getting prepped of what books i could afford and what books i can get and what i plan on getting and i had surprised him with three of them i was like i'm getting you three books you don't know what they are and he's like oh i think i have a good idea and you couldn't guess them but i was just too eager for him to see them that i had to show him then when i got like the second i got home yeah, but the one book I was going to show though was this one, the this uh, comics on a budget. Yeah, uh, the yeah the the first poison ivy uh, vaccine. I got, yeah, I got that too. Yeah, yeah it's I love the facsimiles, man. I, I love too. the facsimiles. They're yeah. some of the best. I mean, like I was a big fan of like like I like the true believers and all that too, but but the facsimiles like it's like that actually reprints. They even mm -hmm. put the ads in there and everything, you know. Yep, I saw yeah. a Rocky, Rocky and Bullwinkle ad. I was like, oh. <laughs> All right, those Hell are good days. All right, Something that's back, back. That's back yeah, with the that's back with the blockbuster days. Oh, even yeah, blockbuster even, like, making like, a blockbuster night. That, probably. <laughs> yeah. 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 But yeah, every time I see a facsimile, I, I get it. Facts. And on mm -hmm. and, and, and you got facsimile Friday, first appearance Friday. I was like, yeah, let me combine those two. Easy. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's like every. I also every time I get tired, I, th I think of another tag I could add to it, mm -hmm. and just try to get creative with it because it's it's so fun to just be out of the box and. I know. I mean, I remember there was there was a couple that like I kind of started. And I remember looking up, like looking it up to see if like it had been done before and it hadn't, mm -hmm. and, and it, like there there wasn't any. And, I, and now I can't even remember what what it, it even was because it's like it's kind of been a while since I've done them. Yeah, because I've been slacking. Yeah, the tables have turned. It's been him playing Destiny all day, every day. And it's me going, like, I want to go to the comic book store. I want to go to the comic book store. Mm -hmm. I want to go get my <laughs> books. I, I'm out of training now with the new job, and I, I'm really loving it. And I'm like, okay, now I can get back to Instagram since I'm out of training. I don't have to focus so hard on, on work. Well, it was funny, though, because, what, six, seven months ago, you were, yep, you, your were, tables you, were like, were you should play Destiny. You should play Destiny. You should play Destiny. True story. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, but, but comics. <laughs> now, so, uh, y'all done flipped it. Yeah. Yep. That's yeah. Like, I mean, it, that, yeah, that happens a lot. It does from time to time. But yeah, we, I mean, we like, just. It's been so long since, I mean, since I've gone mm. uh, to our LCS. This is, this is actually like the, the, the little hall that I got last time we went. It was actually when Cap 12 came out. Yeah, like the last two times we've gone to the comic book store, he hasn't even come with me. I'm like, oh, I'll go by myself. I'll handle well, my own. Okay, here's hey, that, comic book dealer. Welcome. Hey, Thanks dealer. for joining the chat. And hey, hey Bueller. 
still getting used to the multitasking again and paying attention to chat and the guests and everything else on our show. So with. Especially with it being like a different layout since than what we're used to. Because mm, we haven't used true. this that much. Yeah, yeah see, exactly. Yeah, Bueller says uh, Destiny all... Wait, where'd it go? Yeah, Destiny all day, every day is a good choice. You, you can highlight the chat. Like, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, it, there, his Hunter... Yeah, I forgot about that. With his Destiny hat and Hunter shirt. Yep, exactly. Is this, oh, yeah, I am wearing the Hunter one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it's the man Steve Whiting in the chat. What's up, Steve? Hey, Jeffrey, good to see you. Yeah, Jeffrey's in there. Glitter and duct tape, thanks Glitter for joining. Tape. Yeah, thank you guys for hanging out. As you can tell, we're back to being amateurs again, learning a whole new system. It's crazy not doing it for a while, like how... Yeah, it is. You, uh, not, not, it's weird. Not that you, like, lose it or whatever, but it's like... Then again... It feels like your first time again. No, then again, I swear to you, I am the only person in the entire universe that can literally forget how to ride a bike. (laughs) I don't know how I do it, but I'm like, wait, how did... uh, Yeah. Just how it goes yeah like, i don't know how you, you can even walk and chew gum at the same time <laughs> that too <laughs> but no it just uh, it feels so good to be back to the community and it's it's just so awesome it, being interactive again it's great to have y'all back because you know saturdays was almost like a a, a thing we 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 enjoyed many issues on saturday and when y'all took the hiatus <laughs> it was like man you know i kind of wish they come on four o'clock you know and it I was so forward. Yeah, and it was so out of the blue, too, because it's like we had planned on doing it, and then it was just one, one weekend I didn't feel too good, and then next thing I knew, a month had gone by, and it was, I mean, like, I was having some issues with my uh, schizophrenia that I was able to get corrected. Funny story about that one. Uh, yeah. Turns out I accidentally dropped my dose when I wasn't supposed to and well, cut it more well, than it was like half. a different yeah it was a different meditation yeah. it, it was yeah, still the same method that i was supposed to be taking but i was went down from taking it like what twice a day no i was supposed to be taking it four times a day and i went down to <laughs> once a day because i could have sworn my psychiatrist said that it um uh, oh, to God. only take it one a day and so yeah but i had that hiatus and we got it fixed and when i went in for the appointment she's like wait what do you mean you've only been taking one you're supposed to be taking four i'm like oh Okay, so I've decided that it was the voices that tried to get me to kind of go off of them. Hey, Barbarian. Uh, uh, yeah, Kung in chat. How's it going, hey, buddy? Hey, Barbarian Kung Fu. What's up, Barbarian? <laughs> yeah, everybody's saying that I'm a celebrity, man. I'm, a, I'm everywhere. <laughs> you are. You, you are, are everywhere. It's, just, are. it's so crazy because I like by the time we come back from our hiatus, it's like you're everywhere. And I'm like, oh, that's so awesome. It's, I, just, like I said, I, I thank Higher Layer Comics for, for sending me an invite to say if I want to be on Silver Age Sunday. And I said, you know what? Let me get this StreamYard thing down, Pat. I invited him to a private chat on Saturday, and we talked for about almost two hours. You know, and oh, while, yeah. while I was getting used to the, the StreamYard controls and stuff. So that that pretty much set it off. Like, yeah, I could do this. You know, because I was always right. hesitant on a live stream. So. Right. Yeah, you right. get like nerve. Like it's normal to get nerves and stuff beforehand. But I remember when we had McD, it, it turned into a three-hour stream. Yeah, time flies, right? Yeah. Like I mean, next thing you know, it's like it's been three, four hours. Because wasn't the one with McD? It was like three and a half or something mm-hmm. like that, wasn't it? Like, yeah. <laughs> and it felt like an hour. Like, hey, Discovery yeah. Bay. What's up, Discovery? Hey, yeah, Discovery. that that conversation with Harley was like two hours, and it was so much fun. We just talked about a lot of things mm-hmm. and. You know, certain things that you know had us had was feeling down, and we just uplift ourselves. You know, with, right. with a great conversation, right. and you know, yeah, thanks, Steve. Well, it's like <laughs> even with yeah. the, uh, Grails Anonymous, where they got Jeffrey and McD, and then uh, even Daniel too, and it was just like, yeah, it's, so it's, awesome. it's just so beyond amazing, and I just, it, it, yeah, it's so awesome to be part of. Yeah, and uh, with you, uh, those guys. And then those the guys, one. yeah. It's been going We've been seeing everybody opening up those guys. And, yeah. Which we do. We've been killing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. We do got a few AOKs in the works that will probably go out here soon, but we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> so where's that one? Um, I, need to, I need to show these ones. I was stoked on, obviously. Uh yeah, there, there was like two of them that he didn't even know came out because he hasn't been paying attention to well, the comic book these, world as much. He's the, been. This, these first ones I'm showing, I definitely knew. 
uh, the Spawn 300. Uh, yeah. Here's I didn't I hadn't seen this one though. Like uh, this was at Volts, wasn't it? The regular. Yes. And it's uh, yeah, it's just McFarland that did it. I, yeah, but I don't know like if you had seen that one. So but have, again, yeah. Yeah. I've seen that in my shop. They have a bunch of them. I only got yeah, one. I, I only got cool. one though, and that's the the ASM three hundred uh Hamas cover. Yeah, mm, this one beautiful. Right there. Yeah, uh, that's that's the one right there where. Because yeah. I was like I I, I I I with these big books, I can't be buying multiple copies. I see people with multiple yeah. copies of issue three hundred. I'm like, Great. I just need one. Just like when Detective one thousand came out, I only brought one copy, and that was that <laughs> Neil Adams Joker cover. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. 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 And it's it's well, it is better to get them where it's just one because of the budget. See, I'm normally the same exact way. the The action one thousand, I was the same way. We got just one. Mm -hmm. I think it was the uh, action. I, I brought three copies. You got that three one. Of I, yeah, I got the Mike Allred cover, the Jim Lee cover, and there was another one I brought. You know, yeah. but I got three of those, and I was like, "Yeah, that that'll be the last time I'll do that." <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, it's it I gets know, pricey. Was, uh, we got the I think it was it was Cho, I think. It was like the forties or was it yeah, yeah. or well, yeah, forties, I think. Yeah. Yeah, the Mike Michael Cho. Yeah, I yeah. think that's the one I got too. Yeah, yeah, that's the mm -hmm. one we got. But Detective One Thousand, I went a little ape shit and I think I got pretty much all of them. You went like, ham. I even yeah, got yeah. I even got a couple of the midtown exclusive ones too, and like mm -hmm. yeah, I went <laughs> I, get, I get to the point now where I just get one. And then the rest, I'll just, I'll just save the photos and put it as a screen, screen share or something like that, you know. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's what you got to do. No, but yeah, yeah that, that was an excellent question that was on our show, uh, Ditko or uh, Kirby, and I just he made a good point about Ditko. Yeah, you know, like, you, you know, because he was like a notorious kind of like, I guess I'm trying to think of a better word, but like hermit kind of like. Yeah, he's a re recluse. Recluse. Yeah, there you mm -hmm. go. That's a yeah, that's a better word. Uh, so obviously, you know, he's obviously not like a very sociable, but sociable person. So he would kind of be a little different to meet, but at the same time, you would want to meet him because it's so rare mm -hmm. at the same time. Like, so I don't know. That's, but I, I think I would still probably have to say Kirby though. Like, yeah. even though I'm I, I love Spider-Man and I like, I like Ditko more for his Dr. Strange and I love mm -hmm. the Spider-Man, but his Dr. Strange was so psychedelic that, you know, it was, I read that. I was immersed into the artwork, you know. Right. Yeah. And I love when. I and, and I even seen like a quote or something from Stan Lee, like an older thing, and it was something about Doctor Strange, and he was like, "You're gonna have to ask Steve about that. Like do that Doctor Strange stuff. That's 100 percent Dick. Oh, like, that's yeah. that's his thing, you know. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm, by far, I've always been the same thing too. Like, I love Spider Man too. One of my favorite characters, but Doctor. Yeah, Dicko's Doctor Strange stuff. I love that. One of, one of yeah, these so. days, I have to go through my grandparents' basement because there's a good chance there's comics, Spider-Man comics from the 70s. Nice. Down in the basement. It that would used probably to be have my late mom's. 60s, maybe even. Yeah, so I one of these days, I got to start mm -hmm. making trips up there to just go through the entire basement in mm -hmm. the storage because there's a very good chance that she has her 70s Spider-Man books in. Yeah, Yeah, because she's a huge Spider-Man fan, so that's, yeah, it would Shoot, there would definitely be some of those. You should hand me that tape over there. Why is Spider-Man so good at comebacks? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what, did you, you didn't like come up with that joke, did you? Or did you see no, it No, I saw it on, on somewhere. I don't, I think I saw it on Instagram. It might've been McLovin. It was somebody that posted it. Oh. Somebody that posted it. It's just great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> yeah. So Still getting used to being back. It's it's so weird because I like we just went back last week and it was kind of impromptu. Yeah, because okay. I was I was oh, surprised. Yeah. I saw that. I was like, what they on? They back? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't mean to go on our hiatus. Yeah, because we we did want it kind of like surprise like that, like just do a test, you know, like mm -hmm. without really, uh, like without really like advertising it or anything like on Instagram. Like I was thinking of ways of doing it, like kind of like subliminally and stuff too but like i mean you no know, everyone would know like yeah like what it what it would be you know if it's if it's like us we, hey hey we were all waiting for that post to say y'all back <laughs> right. you know, that's, we were all waiting for it 
For real. real yeah. yeah. It's it's been so good being back. Like everybody's just so welcoming and it's like no time had even passed. It, it's just that the community is bigger than it was before. And like, I started following uh, Life with Two YouTubers and her two kids that are, have YouTube shows too. And I just I think that is so incredibly awesome. I, yeah. It's so cool. And I'm just seeing so many more faces. And then I also noticed there's so much more going on with Comic Tom and his blog and how he's spy- spotlighting other people in the community to like write articles and um, contribute into the platform of what it's all already become is just so incredible. I just, yeah, because just yeah. Rod the his piece on on the blog highlighting my my appearance on his comic book community show, so mm-hmm. that that was pretty amazing. No, yeah, I'll just check that out. Yeah. I, I didn't I hadn't heard of that. That, that there's yeah, that he's yeah. doing that. <laughs> See, yeah, you, you've been playing Destiny twenty four seven. He will right. dive head first into anything that he does. If he's doing something, it's either it, so. Whenever he's doing something, it's seriously all that, nothing but that, and that's it. The, yeah. Later, Steve. Have a good night. Yeah. We're still, yeah. Hey, we and we, we got to get him back on, on this side, you know? Like, <laughs> right. cut, 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 cut that destiny in half and say, hey, you got destiny here, comic fan here. Exactly. That's what I've been. I it's I know, slowly I but to, surely it's it's kind of working. I know. I need to talk to Bueller though, because like Bueller seems to have it balanced, you know, because he's a Destiny guy too. Yeah, but oh, Bueller, <laughs> Bueller will be putting in work, man. With right. Yeah, video, right. He That's puts true. a lot of work, a lot of editing and stuff. I'm like, yeah. man, I I don't even have the time of day to do that, you yeah. know, because you know yeah. work and all that. I work at nights, so when I come yeah. home, I gotta do what I gotta do, run, make errands, and then I go to sleep. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. He's like, I yeah. can't imagine putting a video together and then have to do all the editing and stuff. And, I'm like, and that editing yeah. can, can take a while. It really yeah. can. Yeah. It really can. There was, since my since I'm working most of the day, I'm like 10 to 7, uh, 10 30 to 7. There was one day I caught Beeler and Sam's Tangled Web on Beeler's show, and it just, it was my lunchtime, and I was the only one out there or in my area where I'm at, and it's just, they were cracking me up so hard. I, know, I, I, just, two together, I was just show. laughing my <laughs> ass off at with their conversation, and it was just one of the greatest videos. Was, I loved it. <laughs> he said, Bueller said, when my videos are processes and uploading, I play Destiny. <laughs> yeah, see? yeah, there you go. Because that's Alex. actually what the, I was actually going to say that, is that that's another big thing with it, is the, mm-hmm. is the processing Uploading too, because that, that can too. that can take a second too for sure. Balance. You don't have to do just one thing, all that thing, twenty four seven. That's how you get burnt out. Yeah, I know, because because that and that's mm-hmm. happened to me in the past, like street, like yeah. Twitch streaming. Like I got, yeah, I mean, because like I got like affiliated and was actually like starting to make like money, a little bit of money doing it and shit. So it's like I got a cool but, story. But then I got burnt out fast. Go ahead. Yeah. I got, I got a cool story. So I, I get out of training and I'm in my new team and the one of the p- other people on my team comes up and asks me, what's your favorite superhero? And I'm like, why? Like, what's going on? Is it is like for some just team thing, you know, like superheroes? And I'm like, okay, well, she's not necessarily a hero, but, you know, everybody knows my favorite is Catwoman. Well, lo and behold, it was like two weeks later after saying my favorite character is Catwoman. They actually, they have a hero initiative thing going on at work that my name tag at work even has Selena Kyle on it as Catwoman. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God, I love this. It's a dope picture of it too. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, like nice. it, it, it kind of looks like it was a cosplayer, I think. But, I think it was, but you know, it's, yeah. it's really cool. I, I like being stable and back in call center life because it's what it, it's comfortable. Not that that really had to do anything to do with anything. <laughs> that's 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 pretty nice, you know. That's pretty awesome that they throw you and put Selena Kyle, you know, on your as yeah. a name. So. It's awesome. But you are yeah. you, you big Catwoman fan. We love Jim mm-hmm. Balin, Catwoman. Also, I would love to meet him. He messages me like yeah, he, yeah. He he's comments been, he's on my been, posts been and talking I'm just to like, her right now. It's like even he was even at the NY at the New York con. I know. And I'm like, I, I just don't think he'd ever come here because I know he doesn't charge for signatures and I'd still want to pay he him. Seems just like one of these that hey, awesome that, that was the best thing when I met him at Megacon is that he said he don't charge for signatures mm-hmm. and you know he said he don't feel the need to. So that said, man, I'm gonna buy something from I'm gonna buy your independent book, you know, to, to show mm-hmm. support, you know. Because now exactly. you, you're showing me that you're not interested in paying 
on me paying for a signature. So that means I can show interest in your your product. Mm -hmm. right. Exactly. And, and yeah. That's the best thing, you know. He's so humble was, about it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he really is. I know. I, I know. I remember when I saw that picture. I'm like, ah, <laughs> when you met Balin. But no, like he, he so seems weird. like one of those guys. Like, I don't think Archon would get him. But I, at the same I time, think Archon would ever I kind of wouldn't be. Good. But at the same time, I kind of wouldn't be surprised though, because like this last year we had like uh, Humberto Ramos and uh, Mike Zach, and like so we actually had like had like some good names in there. But uh, I, I missed on meeting uh, Mike Zach. He was at my con a couple of years back, but I, I forgot to bring something. And I was oh. like, man, I, I can't, I can't meet him if I ain't bring nothing. You know, I could have brought something from his table, but I, I prefer to bring what I have too. And when I didn't have anything, I didn't meet him. And I was like, man, I should have met him anyway. Arthur Sidem was another one that was really good. He was nice and he was so he, awesome. He to was talk so to. cool to meet in person. He was, yeah. Like even yeah. Barbarian Kung Fu, like we were talking with him the other night, and it's like we got back in this photo sending more of like all of our uh, Sidem prints and things that we have. And we're just like, <laughs> oh, you have this one, oh, I have this one. And it was just going back and forth. It was, just, it was yeah, great. he. I met him at Tampa. He was pretty cool. Yeah. And I got the DC's cover that he did. He another one that yeah. I have. I have books of that all the zombie stuff that he did for Marvel. Mm -hmm. I I got a couple of them, but I, I didn't bring them. Cause I I, oh. I only brought a selected amount of books because I I wasn't planning on, you know, meeting all the creators like I normally do. Plus I only went one day, so I like I only got a select amount of time. So I went yeah. for the creators that I really wanted to get, and then I met I went to his table, and I was like, man, I could have at least brought two three books for him to sign. But yeah. it was good. I got the deceased uh two variant that he did. Got him to sign that, and I got a couple of prints. Oh yeah, I we had him. Uh, I had him sign a couple of the. It, it was it was an older Deadpool run where he did like a lot of those movie horror movie homage covers of. of yeah, of Deadpool. I got I got the Deadpool one with like um, the, um what was this Return of the Living Dead? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah I got the print of that. Yeah. Or no. I, so I and that's actually the book. So yeah, I had him sign that book. So the book to that one, and then I got the print of the uh, Scarface one. I do want to highlight this real quick. It just made me laugh. It is so great. You fell in love with the stripper. I know. There you go. I know. <laughs> it's true. It's so, it's so true. Oh, God. You cracked me up issues. It's great. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bueller says he has, a, he has a state pup autograph. Now, that's cool. Oh, yeah. That's right. That book that Steve White and brought that Megacon and had everybody sign it. My, my autograph was horrible, though. <laughs> no, my handwriting is so bad. His is good. Mine sucks. Oh, mine sucks. <laughs> Oh, okay. No, it, I forgot. I just lost my train of thought. Oh, Jeff Comics says, uh, uh, just e just email your con. That's true. I mean, like, you know, so like mm. kind of petition, you that know, for like better sense. creators and stuff. And it's crazy, too, because like the organizers of our con here remember, uh, the guy's uh, nephew worked for <laughs> worked for me for that like couple weeks, right? Remember, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah he was. Yeah. Yeah. His uncle was like the organizer of Archon. It reminds me of when they came back with crispy M and M's after being discontinued for like six years. Like growing You're up, still I loved. On this? Yeah, growing up, I loved crispy M and M's, and they discontinued them. And I had even gone down to the M and M factory down in, in Vegas, and they're like, "Yeah, we don't have them no more." So the second I caught wind that they were going to release them back, I went to the grocery store, couldn't find them anywhere. Ended up writing a note to the manager, then getting a phone call. Okay, your crispy M and M's came in. I'm like, oh, okay, perfect. It's so it does make sense to definitely reach out so, to the comic. I, I want to shout out <laughs> two people in the chat. Comic Head eighty four answered. Yes, hello, hey, thanks for joining us. The man, hey, the, the, on, the man calls me a legend. I'm just a regular dude, you know. I, I no, wanna... you're you're a legend. Nah, no, I'm just a regular guy, man. Instagram <laughs> king, right? for sure. <laughs> Instagram. I, I got a story about that one, but. Comments with Bueller say he's coming to make a con next year, so I can't wait to meet him. It's, oh, that would be, be nice. It's going to be big, because even comics, comic book in New York, mm -hmm. comic book NYC said he's coming to make con. So yeah, we, next year. We caught that in, is it April? Isn't that when he said it is? Yeah, it's in April this next year. Yeah, as soon as you guys said it was April, I was like, uh, do you think we could do it? I mean, it might be possible, 
but I'm definitely going to look into it. I, no, it was just yeah, that one day so when awesome. Bueller was going down to see his daughter for a competition and everything, I was so excited to meet Bueller and have him uh, take him to our LCS and everything. And then, of course, the one day he's supposed to be here, it snowed. It was a gnarly blizzard. And it was a, oh. Yeah, it was so bad. Yeah, I, and I, it I, was like, like, yeah, he messaged me. He's like, we're just going to drive through. I'm like, just go. And I, this <laughs> I was is like, like, yeah, it's like, I wish to take us with like, you. Like our weather I don't want to stay here. Yeah, it was so much snow. Our weather here can be so like bipolar at times. Like mm -hmm. we, we can have all four seasons in a day. Like it's. Yeah. <laughs> but we, it's we became stupid. like that close. Had Utah weather not been snowing in a complete blizzard, we would have took him to our LCS. Yes. Yeah, it was a snow day. It was bad, but it'd, yeah. it'd be cool. You, I, just hate, you hate when the weather just messes everything up for you. Mm -hmm. you, exactly. you anticipate that day so much, you know, and, and it just yeah. comes and just get ruined. Exactly. I get so excited. Yeah. But it's true, but but I definitely think we should look into going to the one in April. I know. I want to, yeah. Because yeah. like, a lot, like, you got all those Florida people. You know, you got mm -hmm. Bueller coming, you got NYC coming. I'm like, man, I might try and get Jeffy to come, man. Do it. Yeah. yeah. I got, noticed got. he's the one I noticed he's the one making dreams come true or come to reality. It's just like he's gone and seen uh John's comics with kids yeah, and he's he just there. gone to so many other concerts to I mean, say the, oh. the man went my birthday in New York. It's kind of, you know, I, I left New York before the New York Times existed. Mm -hmm. You know, like I used to, previous times in New York, like they had a New York Comic Con spectacular, but there was no New York Comic Con. And I was. I don't know. Yeah. So. I don't know if you caught that art. Uh, that was cutting out there for a minute. I have no idea what happened. He's still there? Is it froze? Yeah, is that oh no, yeah, yeah, we're moving, I think, but uh I don't know. I think, yeah. Oh yeah. Is it yeah, yeah, we're still live, so I think we're still on. Still learning. We're amateurs. It's cutting out. I don't know what's going on. But something is killing the children. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Are you still there? Like oh, yeah. oh, oh, we lost Puff. Oh, yeah. I don't know how this works, but yeah, uh, figure it out. Yeah, issue says uh, Puff needs to reset. Yeah, so maybe if we. Okay. Oh, you back? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay so... yeah, yeah. It, it came up saying the internet may be bad, but. Yeah, it started cutting out real bad, and I'm like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> some, uh, something's killing Puff's internet. <laughs> and my scene says, right. well, yeah, something's killing the children in Puff's internet. But I actually really like this book. It was pretty good. And it's like, I, I'm not much of a horror fan, but tagging me in the 28 days of Halloween and 28 or 31 days of yeah, the horror tags. I'm like, Halloween. Oh, I'm like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, so I've been like going through his books because he's the horror one out of the both of us. But this one's been pretty good. I like yeah. this one. Nice. She she uh, she surprised me with uh, today. This is what she picked up. I didn't even. You should have seen his reaction. I kind of wish I would have not shown mm -hmm. him until we did the show, just so that you guys all could have seen. Is he hasn't been paying attention to what books are coming out each week like I have yeah. been because he's been that submerged in Destiny that he didn't even have any idea this book just barely came out. And I'm like, I have to. And I I, I, to. I don't know if it's ongoing or a mini or what, but. Yeah, so if you know, let us know. And Dr. Doom number one? Yeah. Of course, being a huge Doom fan, I was like, holy shit. Like, That's a sweet cover. Yeah, this cover is mm -hmm. dope, too. Mm -hmm. Like, I was so happy they had it when I went in. Well, it's funny, because it was one that was in the hold, and I noticed on the, the uh, whatever, uh, the spine. There were spine ticks. You yeah, said? I noticed there was a spine tick, and I'm like, no, I'm going to have to swap that out real quick. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Right. I'm, I, I'm like, yeah, I'm glad that you noticed that. Speaking, speaking of Halloween covers, I'm going to post this tomorrow. I know you will like this, Future. Oh, oh, beautiful. 
Elvira. I was I just the year before I met him, I was Elvira for Halloween one year. She was a good one too. She looked really good in it. Mm-hmm. House of Mystery. Oh. That's I'm trying to remember. Cool is cover. that is that like her first appearance in comics or something like yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah. This was like the DC House of Mystery book. They relaunched it with her being the main uh, star of the book. You know, even got a picture of her in the back. Right. And she was so smart with the rights to she when she became Elvira, she still retains the rights. And so she can just she goes to so many cons and horror cons as well, uh, just as Elvira. I love it. Yeah, and she's gonna be at uh Spooky Empire this month in Tampa. It, it, yeah. She's like a vampire, she doesn't age. I know she, she, she just so does good not age. look her like, age. I, I can't like, remember how old she is, but yeah, she still looks amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a good one. Hell yeah. Uh, I'm trying to see who did the cover on this one because uh, Salvador La Roca did the interiors. I know. I can't believe we're already coming up on Halloween. Like it was just May two two days ago. I don't know where this time uh, is going. It looks like the covers. Uh, is that A C O or A G O? Like A C O, A C O, A C O. I think it's a C. I don't know. Yeah, A C O maybe. Uh, hey, yeah. you see you see what Boat Wright said. Oh, That's what oh, I was. But he said, if so many YouTubers came to make con, it would be the cons to end all cons. Oh, for oh, real. Yeah. yeah, I agree. I'm just, uh, mm-hmm. Wasn't but, it? Uh, we can do it. We'll make it work. Wasn't it? I mean, I mean, there was a good community turnout at uh, the Chicago one last year. Was there a CTV too? I think. I think. Yeah, all the comic yeah. corps. Yeah, all the comic good. corps, all that. Yeah, they got together. Yeah, and Tony. AD comics and all them. Yeah, mm-hmm. we're gonna have to look into that because I'll sell my kidney on the black market and we'll go. Hell, I would too. <laughs> if only like, that would but be we'll so awesome. Dude. That'd be so yeah. dope. It's so weird getting used to chat again, and it's like it's just so awesome to be back. Wait, cause remember, we used to read chat like on our phones. We'd have our phones, mm-hmm. is how we would. We did indeed. I'm, 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 it's a pleasure for me to be your first guest on your first show back, right. you know? Welcome yeah. back. Yeah. Oh, it's like a, we're, I was watching Rod's stream coast to coast, and I turned to him. I was like, we should just, you know, because uh, Rod had been talking about the invite, and I'm like, mm-hmm. well, do you want to do it? And he's, uh, yeah. Obviously, we all know how that played well, out. Well, yeah, yeah, like I wanted to. But like I said, mm-hmm. like how we already had the one scheduled, like mm-hmm. whatever, but. Uh, I can't remember. Is it how many you can have on at once on Streamyard? Is it like five? Is it five or six? Something like that. I think, I think. it's six with six. with others in the background. Like you can have six on the screen, and then you have some in the background. Somebody will have to drop out to bring the others up. Oh, okay. All right. Have a good night, issues. Thanks for joining us for the wee bit of time that you were here. Yeah. Actually. Later, issues. Later, have issues. a good night, buddy. Later. Have a good night. Yeah. Uh, well, and it's like we were even watching uh, NYC's anniversary show, uh, his one year mark in it. Uh, oh, man. I wanted to watch. I, I, uh, yeah, 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 we Pop heard was about there that night. Yeah. yeah, I couldn't believe that actually happened. I was like, what? In the yeah, actual... we, yeah, we, yeah, we heard about it the, the next day. We didn't yeah. see it happening or yeah. all that, but that I was just... on there, man. I was like, what? What? And I once NYC about it. And I felt like, man, I should have never said it. It probably wouldn't have happened. But I remember when it happened on the Comics Corps on their first channel, and I was like, that was a bad ending. The way it just ruined the whole video, and Chad came out and did a video saying that them people who did that were just idiots, trolls, all that, just trying to ruin something. So I was like, that's why I had I had to, <laughs> NYC said, let's not bring that up. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> like, wait. I know. I, 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 I was trying to kind of like, like, kind of trying not to, but like, yeah. It's, like, it's kind one of my just, tendencies. Like, over it, but yeah, um, my bad. Yeah, unfortunately, I mean, like I said, Twitch streaming and all that. Like, unfortunately, you deal with that. But I mean, the good, at least the good news is, is like, it's mm-hmm. definitely not as common. Yeah. <laughs> you know, with you know, with on uh, like with this community and everything. And, that is true. Uh, God, I forgot the hell I was saying. I don't know. Yeah, so do any of you guys know like if this is like ongoing or a mini, this Doctor Doom series? I, I have no idea. You know, because yeah. with Marvel <laughs> with Marvel, they could start it as an ongoing and then cancel it after five issues and it'd be a regular yeah. mini series. So I'm like, nah. When it comes to Marvel, I don't really predict anything. 
That's true. It's even yeah. with the Star Trek ones that I was reading, like they weren't going past issue four. So I'm like, okay, yeah, year five won't go past issue four. And the next thing I know, five and six are out. And I'm like, is this the Twilight Zone? Because like all the other Star Book Star Trek books haven't gone past four. Well, you kind of see that a little more in indie Indies stuff yeah. where they do like just four issue arcs or five That's issue true. arcs or whatever, you know, like Yeah, because most know. most of the Star Trek, the next generation books I get has been mostly five issues. You know, right, like yes. the mir- the broken mirror. The through the mirrors and all that, it's been five. Oh, this some good one. Yeah, I enjoyed yeah. it. You know the mirror universe. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah, and that's what was throwing me off is is year five has actually gone past that. I'm like, it's year five has been good, and the Q conflict is actually no, it's not year five. Maybe it's the Q conflict. I just confused myself. Yeah, there's one of them that's like. What is it like seven or eight issues in, in now or something like that? I think it might be Q conflict. That is. Is the that Q, still Q going? Q conflict still going? Because I ain't been seeing that lately. I, I'm not sure. Maybe it's just there's one in the hold that I haven't picked up yet. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Well, our timeline right myself. now is really screwed because of like, yeah. like our hold. You know, like it's like yeah, like so. stuff. And that's why I didn't go to the LCS today with her. Because if I would have went, like I would have seen been all there. that in the hold. I'm just like, whoop, you know, like we're getting all of it. We would have been there you a know. good couple hours. Like, we're not doing that. Sometimes I, I'll go to my comic shop to just chill, you know. I have, I have a great shop, great owner, and I can go in there and just hang out, talk, probably watch them uh, play some Rick and Morty and all that stuff. So, mm-hmm. like, and and I, I when when uh, I met some people in the community when I brought uh, comics from the Quest of Legends, he came to meet me with Old Man Spider, and we just had a ball. We was there for at my shop for like three hours just talking, you know. And, and enjoying ourselves and stuff. So sometimes it's not like we can just meet up and just talk, you know, and have exactly. fun doing it. You know, that, mm-hmm. that was, that's what's so great about the community, you know? Absolutely. Was that exactly. the one where you met uh, Mark Twain, but stupid? Is that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was some exactly. great content. Yeah, because seeing you guys all that was, go that was awesome. Yeah. All the videos and everything. And, then, and, and that was just so And before that, see. when that's why I was shocked to see Diecast Cook in the chat on Rob's channel. Because, you know, he, he normally don't do YouTube videos much, but when I saw him on the chat, I was like, I know I got to get this man on YouTube because he is a personality. <laughs> I know you see him future on oh, his yeah. post. He is yeah, a I personality. Love, for real, yeah, I love following his page. It's it's definitely good stuff. So if and you're not I, following him, go do it. Yeah, and when he came to Orlando back in in July, I couldn't wait to meet him, man. And it was awesome. Man. Awesome. Yeah, that's so awesome. I, I remember. Yeah. When, I remember when we were watching those. Like it, it brought it brought big smiles to our faces. Like it was all, that was so awesome to see. Like, well, and, and even uh, Jeffrey and NYC, like their content and everything was just so great too. Of them at the con, I, I know. Didn't it? Like, bird like, is a plane. It had like, like it had like the feeling like like the whole community was like glued to him. You know, for that whole time Jeffrey yeah. was out there. Every, yeah. every movie. It's like, like, like we couldn't wait to see what they post next. Yeah. You know. It was crazy. The phone was blowing up, but like all these comments of comments of comics, and mm-hmm. yeah, it was, and, it was great. And that's why when I was at Tampa Bay Con with Hylia, Bolt Wright, and them guys, it was like the first time I was at a con with a group, you know, because most of the time I'm either at a con with my brother, sometimes my father might tag along, and but most of the time I'm there by myself. You always so, gotta go with me. Huh? You always gotta go with the buddy. Yeah, <laughs> I know. But, for, but before the community, I was just you know because I wasn't on social media yeah. as much, so I was just going cons by myself, and I was used to that because I've been going to New York cons by myself, you know, in my teenage years. So yeah. it was nothing to me. But when I experienced that at Tampa Bay, I was like, I can't do it by myself no more. I got to have crew with me, man, because it was amazing. It was an amazing feeling. It really yeah, is. Yeah, we actually, yeah, we've never done it really like that in like a group either. I've either done it by myself with my brother, with well, stepbrother, and then yeah. me and you. So well, not and, like. A group. And it's like, back, yeah, because it, it got brought up on on Rod's stream coast to coast because he had met Stan Lee like what 18, 19 years ago. Yeah, that was a long time. And ago. him and his half brother had done rock paper scissors <laughs> to see which one was going to go stand in Stanley's line and which one was going to go stand in Todd, Todd McFarlane's line. And yeah. then they're like just pop books. It's like okay. Collect- at Tampa Bay, I stood with them brothers for the rest of the show. Like I got there by myself. I was out walking around stuff, doing like like 
hour and a half. As soon as I met Jeff Comic 813 and the rest of them, we stuck together the whole way. You know, we was at on lines together. We went digging in long boxes together. We stood at a vendor's area for like an hour and a half just going because he had some great deals. And we, we, we stayed there. Uh, Hialeah's daughter walked around, came back, and saw us still there. She's like, what? Y'all still there? <laughs> yeah, it, was like, it, was, it was so so much fun, you know, and, and, and just being around them guys, going to eat together and stuff like that. I, I can't do that solo no more, you know. And I'm gonna get, I'm gonna definitely get my brother to join me, cause he'll he'll come to some cons himself as well. Get get him to come out there, and we just have a blast. Well, and and thanks to Beeler, I got the perfect con bag, cause when he had won a, a giveaway from Beeler, mm-hmm. he had sent us an Emerald City con bag that was just like huge it's so big. <laughs> it, it carried everything when we went to our cons back in april and march yeah. it was just everything was able to fit in there yeah. it was perfect i just made sure it was empty before we went in it's by the time we came out it that. was like it was, it was perfect because uh Bueller and chad a second ago actually said uh go to the con with someone that will carry your stuff <laughs> uh, and and well said. and you know mm-hmm. when when i stood online for bob layton you know they would say hey man let me hold your bag hi Lil. Held my bag when I got stuff signed by uh, Peter David. And you like, man, I hold your bag, man. Don't worry about it, man. Go get your books and get get your stuff signed. You know, Jeff held my bag when uh when we didn't get something to eat. And I was mm-hmm. like, I ain't never had that type of experience before. Cause I'm, normally I'm used to holding my own bag. You know, like like oh, what's yeah. they said, don't trust the white with your bag. He's like, I'm used to holding on to my bag. And they were like, man, Sean, your bag like 90 pounds, man. <laughs> And I was like, I'm used to carrying 90 pounds because I've been doing it by myself all the time. So I was used to it. But I was like, it was so much fun being with those guys, man. And and Hylia saying, my pleasure, Puffy. When he told me it was a pleasure to, for him to hold my back, it really made me feel like, man, these guys are awesome, man. They're really awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, you know, I would definitely love to go meet with these guys again and have fun at the con. Yeah. And I can't wait for Maycon next year because it's gonna be so much fun. I'm gonna start saving now. Like I, I'm, I'm, I know. Like, See, I, I, I want, I want to do it. Like, like the the thing that makes me question it is my p- piece of crap job that I have. It's damn near impossible to get time off. We'll get you a new That's job. That's the thing. And yeah, yeah. Hopefully, I have a new job by then. Like, yeah. anyways, but yeah, that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So is yeah. it? Uh, so April is it like a, is it a three day four day? It's probably four, isn't it? Oh, it's probably... Thursday and Sunday. Yeah, Thursday yeah. is a Sunday. And it's Orlando. High legs. A boat ride said high legs didn't know that bag weighed one hundred and twenty five pounds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good oh, stuff. Hell. Good stuff. Uh, no, we'll, f- we'll figure it out. We'll cross that bridge when we get there, but we'll hey, figure it if, out. If, if you guys come, it, that would be great. You know, I would definitely love to hook up with you guys, you know, and we all just get together and, and, and just have fun. But well, and it'd be, that, go ahead. It, it, oh, I was going to say, it'd be the opportunity to really meet, like, creators and artists, because, like, at our cons, it's all just movie stars and TV shows, and, like, they do, like, the... Honestly, uh, at that point, though, with how much we've wanted to meet, like creators like that though like that would just be a bonus like i'm i i'd be more stoked for the community people exactly like the creators yeah. now like, almost feel secondary to meeting people in the community yeah yeah, yeah it's, it's definitely true it's, yeah. It, it, it's it's so awesome being able to see the community come together from instagram to youtube and then t- in person and it's mm-hmm. just it's just yeah, because like thing. how I actually kind of stumbled in, and that's and that's what I was saying, like with how it's like it happened, like really, it happens really organically and stuff too. Because like I kind of like stumbled into it, and because like 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 you, like you said earlier, like I was watching other comic book YouTubers, and uh, and I came across and like Comic Tom, I came across Comic Tom and his his podcast and stuff, and like he was he was always talking about the IG comic fam, you know, the IG comic fam. He was always saying that, so got on got on an IG and. Which I hadn't been on anymore because I always had Instagram for my art and stuff, you know, like when I was tattooing yeah. and all that. And since I since I wasn't doing that anymore, I hadn't really been on it for a long time. So yeah. I, I think I, I think I followed you first and then Fusa. Mm-hmm. 
You yeah, know, because y'all, y'all, yeah, I think y'all posting comics and stuff. You know, I'm, I, I, I tend to follow comic pages. That's majority about just sharing their collection and stuff. I follow some seller pages, but I don't want to really travel down that hole of all these sellers because some of them are scammers and stuff like that. So I'll, I'll. Exactly. Yeah. That's those are the one pages that I won't follow is the ones that just do buy, sell and trade. Like it's awesome that you're selling books or you're trading them or you're, you know, yeah, and there's some, it's, there's some good ones out there, but then there's some ones that, you know, I yeah, you see it, scam alert, scam alert. And I'm like, I, when well, I, when the follower sells, follows me, I'm like, I don't know, man. Cause I'm already see, following enough sellers. I don't need to follow more. Exactly. Right. Well, and it's like when I was, cause beforehand when I was following some of the, the sellers, I started to notice that all the books I was seeing on my feed were for sale, for sale, for sale. And I'm like, I want to see the books that people were posting because of tags or why they love this or how this changed their perceptive on, you know, I want to see what other comics, like people are actually like what it is about that book that, that they're posting they about. Like, yeah. So it is just like, yeah, I'm not following the, the seller ones. Cause it's, I'd rather yeah. see, I, I have some people that I, that I brought from, and they're pretty good people. So I'll, I'll stick with those, you know. Exactly. The ones that I trust. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, because like, because like, to your point, like you're saying, it's it's awesome seeing what certain books can, what they mean to other people, you know. Because like one mm -hmm. thing to one person can be nothing or whatever, you know. And then one but that book trash. to someone else, yeah. Exactly. One, one month's trash is another man's treasure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like, awesome. like some of my most sentimental books is Spawn number one and Jim Lee X Men number one. You know, like mm -hmm. those were like, especially Spawn number one was. I mean, I was like reading comics and stuff before that, but like that was the one that kind of like really hooked me more into like collecting wise. You know, like where you're. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, uh, like actually taking care of them more and stuff like that. And, like X X Men three hundred is like a seminal book for me because that was the first book that I actually got signed by a creator, the writer mm -hmm. of the book, and that right. was at the con. You no, know, when, uh -huh. when my aunt took me to the con, he had a panel. You know, they had my aunt gave him my book, signed it, and then she gave it to me. Now at the time, you know, I'm young, so I'm not really thinking that signature was anything so you know the book is kind of haggard now you know and stuff like that but it was my uncle that told me man sean you better save them comic books up and this was during the time of the 90s when people were talking about oh comics you know the the speculation mm -hmm. of comics and the death of superman stuff oh comics gonna be big comics gonna be worth something right. but he was like man you you better take care of your books man then you know they might be worth something and then that's when you know it as as years go on i started becoming more of a collector as a, a reader, then collector, you know, to save and preserve them. And mm -hmm. that that that's how my collecting habits started because of my aunt, my uncle and my dad. You know, they would take me to cons and stuff like that. I was fortunate to have people like that, that, you know, fed into what I liked it. You know, right. like, hey, you like this? Hey, we'll take you to this con, you know. That's why I'll be posting old pictures of me and the cosplay of Batman back in 1993 and stuff like that. Well, uh, those you, ones. Do you know that picture is of me and Ernie in the. It'd be I, awesome if I could like show it. Like I don't know exactly don't where, know where it is, at, but I've posted but yeah. it before. His grandmother, uh, when she she used to sew wedding dresses for she, she's self employed in that, so she was really good with the sewing needle and thread. And um, there's a picture of him and Ernie, this other guy that is like a the friend, reason, yeah. like the one childhood friend that actually brought me and him together. Because if it wasn't for him, we never would have met. But there's a picture of them dressed up as Superman and Batman, and it was homemade costumes that were like and we're professionally like what, like seven or eight in it? Or yeah, we're you're like you were little. You were probably like six or seven. Yeah, probably even younger. They they were just it was the most adorable thing. <laughs> and then there's also another one that he he was dressed up as the Teenage Ninja Turtles, <laughs> and because his grandmother was so good at sewing, she would just hand make these these costumes for him, and it was the coolest thing. Oh, I was everything growing mm -hmm. up. Like I was. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Turn, yeah. See, and, yeah. And with my mom, she just always had me into comics, like growing up watching Superman and Xena and mm -hmm. all of it. I was a nerd from the get go. Yeah, yeah, because like, yeah, her her mom. That's what she. See, and like, I didn't really have like like I like my mom wasn't really in, into him or anything like that. So it was for me, it was more just uh, 
probably like a lot of people my my age <laughs> the 89 batman and like stuff like that you know that kind of got you got me down that that path towards like comics and stuff like that and, yeah hey burke not, nasty burke nasty hello. i call him burke nasty he's burke <laughs> family well i still I sometimes say burke nasty <laughs> I, I'm still not used to seeing Burke Family. I'm like, Burke Nasty, right? though. I'm used to seeing Burke Nasty, not Burke Family. Uh, <laughs> good but stuff. Yeah. But yeah, I showed this on other shows, but like this mm. 1994 convention book, you know, dope. and this was at the Javis Center, so I've been to the Javis Center numerous times, but I've been going to cons since like 92, so it was it surprised mm. me when I was meeting up with these fellows and they say they only been to going cons for like the last couple of years. I'm like, damn, I'm I'm that big of a con veteran. <laughs> you know, I, I, I was surprised. But, you know, it's it's great just to, to hang with those guys and, and learn their con experiences and then I get to share mine, you know. And I shared the story of, on other shows about my meeting John Romina Sr. and the whole uh, him signing my Maximum Clonage book that's terrible. It's like the definition of '90s garbage, oh, but you know. I think I've got that, that story, that, but if it's a bad huh? one, like I don't want you to repeat it. I, yeah, I don't think I. Oh, uh, I, I think it was a Big Apple Comic Con, like 1997. Mm -hmm. my, you know, me, and my dad was at the con, and John Romina Senior there. You know, uh, artist of Spider Man. So. I had a Spider-Man book in my hand. My dad was like, oh, you should stand in line and, and get him to sign that book. You know, he did Spider-Man. So at first, I'm like, oh, this, this, it's exciting. Then I look at the person in front of me. He's got a book from the 60s. Guy behind me, he's got a book from the 70s. I'm like, I got this Maximum Clonage book. That, I look in the book, his name ain't on it. So I'm like, he ain't do this book. <laughs> Is he going <laughs> to sign it? So... You know, I'm I'm panicking. I'm ready to jump off the line, but my dad was like, "No, no, just stay there. You know, he'll sign it. It's Spider Man." So I I get to the front. There's the legend himself, John Romita Senior. Shook his hand. I handed him the book, knowing that he's gonna look at this like, "What is this crap?" <laughs> he looks at it. He turned to me. And he said, "Son, I did not do this book, but if you want me to sign it, I will sign it." You know, I look at my dad. He's like, yeah, yeah, go ahead, let him sign it. So I, I said, yeah, you know, he signed it. And uh, we took a picture. And and that was that. I, that was my story with John Romina Sr. You know, I, <laughs> I posted that story. Yeah, it, it, I got to meet the legend. Even if it was a crappy book he signed, I still got a signature from him. I got to yeah, find the picture. Dude. This, yeah, it's, that's dope. That's so awesome. It, it's so. It was back when I was always on Facebook instead of Instagram. I saw that our LCS was gonna have Jim Ali in our LCS. Oh God, yeah, I'm so, I'm so glad yeah. you caught that. So we left work oh. early that day since we were working in the same place at the time, and we went and stood in line in the bitter cold, just waiting for Stanley, not Stanley, Jim, Jim Lee, and it was just the closest thing. And then like, it was a quick photo op too, where you would sign your books and get a photo. I had never done a, I had never gotten a book signed before. I, I didn't know what you. to expect. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know that you're supposed to kind of let the, the marker, the permanent marker dry for a second. So one mm -hmm. of the first books that we got signed was smudged because I was like, I panicked. I got nervous and I moved and it, it was well, just it was like, kind of like a madhouse too. There, there yeah. was a lot of people. Yeah. There, there was a kind of, kind of running you over and shit too. the one and thing like, that made me feel better about it though was after i just beat myself up i was like oh how could it be so silly to get it smudged he's like it builds a story it's like it tells it a was, story it's, it's, your, yeah. it's your first signing you've ever been to i mean we we got four books signed the other three were perfect and the book that was barely it was it was smudged but like not that bad mm -hmm. like i don't he's care kind of know? like i'm not selling it or anything like yeah, but no, it was it was it awesome. Was, it was odd. Yeah, yeah. It was, I'm, it's, I'm it's always I'm it's always nervous when you get because, like I said, that was the first time I actually stood in line for a signature. You know, mm -hmm. like that X Men three hundred. That that wasn't me. That was my aunt. That was the first time I stood in line for a signature with a legend, and then I was in panic mode the whole time. But you know, <laughs> I I gotta find that picture. I know I know I got it somewhere. I gotta, awesome. yeah, I gotta find that picture because I vividly yeah. remember it. I just can't find it, and I hate yeah. when you can't find something when you know you you have it. And yeah. You're trying oh, yeah. so hard to find it. 
I've been there. Yeah, absolutely. I know that 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 picture of me and my friend when we were kids. Uh, I'm thinking it's like kind of crawling at me right now because I because I know like I'm gonna look for it I'm, after this and like, like I won't be able to find it. I bet. I'm like ninety. I think I have a picture of it on my phone though. So. Yeah, I'm like ninety three percent. No, seventy eight percent sure of where it might be. Yeah, I know what you mean like with three places with Romita Senior though, because like a couple of my like favorite books that that we have is. <clears throat> oh, I think it's in the 80s, but some of his Daredevil covers. Mm. Uh, I think it's like 80, is it 83? Oh, it's in the living room, I think. But yeah. yeah, that's like some of my favorite stuff from, from that from that era too. No, it's probably older than 83 actually. Than issue 83. I can't remember what number it is. Yeah, yeah. but <laughs> that, that was my story. You know, and I had a couple Three. of stories. You know, I I met Mick Foley one time, the wrestler. You know, I, he walked, uh, yeah, he was, I he came towards me. I I was walking towards him. I shook his hand. I said hi. You know, he said hey, how you doing? I'm doing fine. And then he went to do his signing. But you know that mm-hmm. that was a brief moment. But I got a chance to meet Mick Foley. That was when he was the commissioner at the time in 2000. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. 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 So. So that that was that was a fun little moment, you know. And I used to meet a lot of wrestlers, you know, oh, yeah. back then. But yeah, we used to, we used to go to well, not me and you, but yeah, because I was oh. looking at you, <laughs> looking at you as I said that. But yeah, like um, when you were a kid, you went to wasn't it WrestleMania? Well, yeah, yeah, we went to the one in Anaheim in uh, two thousand. But 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 not only that, but I mean, like so many house shows here too. You know, like I mean, yeah, we went to crap tons of of events i mean even like monday night raws monday i mean uh wcw nitro monday nitro we had here once and in uh oh hell i think i think it was back when it was called the east center still the one in west valley Hmm. yeah but yeah i i mean like the nostalgia in me still loves that you know like when we were talking about it you know the other night on in in chat like the old school wrestling, you know, like I still have that love for it and everything, but like, I haven't watched it like, you know, modern, like current, like today's stuff in probably three or four years, really. It's, it's been a little while. Yeah. I'll, I'll check in here or there. Like the Wednesday shows with the AEW stuff, I'll check it out just because it's something new. It's not just WWE, but yeah, wrestling just hasn't been the same since the attitude ever. For real. Yeah. yeah, that's really been my thing, yeah. I wouldn't know. That's the one thing I could never get into. Yeah. Honestly, like, like if you were watching, like, around the Attitude Era, I think you would have gotten into it then. Like, Maybe. It, it, it was it was good. Yeah, Stone Cold, you got The Rock, you know, yeah. Triple H, all them guys. It was but, a, yeah, it was a good era, like. Plus, I remember telling Comic Head 84 that wrestling, you can't imitate the wrestlers today. Like back then, you had the Hogan's, the Macho Man's, the Flair's. You can imitate them. Right. There's no wrestler out there with the personality that you want to imitate, that you want to do an impression of, compared to what it was back in the day. Everybody no, was doing Ric Flair. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody, yeah, was doing Ric Flair. <laughs> yeah. I, I remember Hulk, um, Hogan, not Hulk, what's his name? I don't know. Forget it. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm yeah, tired. yes. Yeah, see, even people who weren't into it, like, <laughs> I'm sleep somewhat, deprived. <laughs> somewhat knew who they were. I am sleep deprived. I know. I am too. Oh. That damn Destiny keep me up at night. You can give it a break. Watch. Have a movie night. Matter of time. You guys haven't seen Joker yet, have you? No, I wanted no. to go see it so bad this weekend, but it's just not in the budget that I think I'm going to go see it next weekend or within yeah. the next two weeks. I Jeffrey's been telling me that that I'd love it and that it, I've been hearing good reviews, and I just I want to see it so bad. I want to see it. Like I'm surprised because when I brought it up with my mom, she she was even the one that was like she's not really feeling to see that one, just because of how dark she's heard it is. I'm like, and your mom but, doesn't really like super dark stuff either, though. Like she doesn't yeah, watch no. the, like the walk, even though she's a huge nerd and all that stuff. But she doesn't like she doesn't watch The Walking Dead yeah. or yeah stuff like the walk, that. The Walking Sleep. <laughs> yeah. I, I can't watch the, that show no more. 
We're we're behind. I mean, we didn't we're even like watch last season. Behind. We're a couple, yeah, yeah seasons behind. But I'm hoping I'm hoping either this, within the next two weekends, we go see it at a matinee, or it's like Sunday or Saturday, eleven a.m. Then go get lunch or something because I really want to see it. I just from everything that I've heard from it, it's just I want to like I want to see. I'm, it. I'm just like kind of like in a in a weird spot with it. Like I really want to see it, and I'm sure I'll like it, but it's kind of like. I mean, and I could see movies and like, you know, like have the mindset of it kind of as like an Elseworlds kind of thing, you know, treated as its own thing, not like, you know, because Todd Phillips or whatever, you know, uh, making it clear that this isn't like a comic book movie, you know, or whatever, mm-hmm. like how, whatever he was saying and stuff. But I don't know. I don't know, though, you know, because it's like I'm such a I'm, well, I'm a pretty see, big Joker fan. And it's like, I don't know. Well, my, but I do want to see it and I'm sure I'll like it. But. My mom. Yeah. Well, I was just going to say, my mom's uh, reason for not wanting to see it is uh, how it pertains to mental illness and what the Joker's gone through and how he is the way that he is. My mom sees it as bad publicity to people with mental illness because with me and my schizophrenia, she just she feels like it's putting on a bad light that for all the people out there that don't know too much about mental illness, if they see it, they might then get the theory that, oh, that you know associated That's what everyone's like yeah. with it yeah so that, that was my mom's biggest thing as to why she was not really wanting to see it but i mean i'm that, like i you, want to see it because it's, it's but you're gonna get yeah. that with anything though too. That's true. it's like it's yeah. unavoidable <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I could see that reason you know mm-hmm. I, I i might eventually go see it because i was i wasn't planning on going to see it i was like i could wait on that but you know it's been getting ready for views and stuff so i might eventually go check it out yeah, if I do, I do. If you saw it. But, you know, I, I had a feeling it was going to be more of that type of movie because even though it's not directed by Martin Scorsese, mm-hmm. when I watched that first trailer, there were certain elements in there that that felt like a Scorsese film, like Mean Streets, The King of Comedy, even a little bit of Taxi Driver. You know, I saw little elements in that first trailer, like, yeah, this got Scorsese in it. You know, it has a Scorsese type feel to it. So, yeah, I, I understood exactly what they were going for, and I wasn't yeah. sure how it was going to be. I was, I was seeing, and I was, I was getting, getting that same exact vibe from it from that first like leaked footage. Like, remember when like the leaked footage mm-hmm. started coming out of it? Like, I think the, I think the first one was like the him running, and just like the, the kind of the, the wardrobe, and like, kind of you could see like it was like kind of eighties, you know, a little bit. Like yeah. different time period kind of thing too so it's i'm just i definitely had that vibe with it too from the jump i'm just glad peter parker's back in the mcu well he never really left the mcu but that well, they got spider-man back well yeah because yeah so that whole thing that was going on like yeah sony and uh yeah. disney and all that but see and then i think one of the things i read is like well there was kind of a, a few different things because there was one that's saying uh they were able to get a get a deal done for just like one more but then there was a lot like several other outlets saying that uh one more so like spider-man 3 and then uh and then and then like another marvel movie later like another team up or something so maybe like well well, fingers crossed spider-man deadpool (laughs) because supposedly that's how they were gonna try working and bringing in deadpool was through spider-man maybe possible and that's I just That's kind of how I'd like to see it done. Yeah. No, I just noticed we've we've been on for about an hour now, and yeah, it's oh my phone's starting to blow up. Yeah, Boat Wright was asking about the paintings in the back. Like, yeah, those are California blend paintings. Oh wow! Oh yeah, oh. he's he he's saying so saying he's got got to get a Boat Wright piece up there. I'm like, hey, I'm ready for that. I, I you know, that's like yeah. such a sore subject for me that I don't like draw or paint or tattoo anymore he he kind of drew Ugh. deadpool and it was good like he can draw he can really draw and he used to be a graffiti artist so he just needs to start drawing again yeah. even though it's a sore spot i'm I, currently I, I, I'm I time. the band-aid off <laughs> i i used to draw way back when i was in high school but this was back when dragon ball z was huge and we was right. draw goku and vegeta and stuff like that I have not drawn since like 2000, so it's been like 19 years since I've actually picked up a pen 
and it's, draw some. Yeah, it's been like 20 years for me. And I remember as a kid when South Park first came out, I, I drew the characters <laughs> of South Park, but those are just simple circles. And yeah. I remember my mom telling me I should send it into him for fan art. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> but just being again. I used to do Sonic back in the mid 90s when Sonic was big. Oh, yeah. I, had a whole, I had a whole book of Sonic uh, drawings. Then I lost it. Somebody stole it in high school. That's what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. What's up? Yeah. We used to do. Well, like, yeah. I, yeah. It's been great, you know, being on the show with you guys, you know. Yeah, it has so been. Coming on. Yeah, I'm so thank glad you so much we were... for joining us. Yeah, I, the, I'm, it just it feels good to be back in the community, and it'll probably take a good couple episodes to get back in the swing of paying attention yeah. to chat and everything. But it's thank you so much for showing up and, and being on our show for, like, our first official episode. I know, and, like, when we normally have, like, guests and stuff, I normally try and, like, have kind of, like, like questions highlight. and, like, I mean, we don't we don't, like – like super plan out our shows normally, but we kind of, yeah. cause we normally we have the like cards and you know, like topic points or whatever. I mean, I normally like. Well, and I have no idea if we're doing direct edition squad tomorrow, but we're, we're back. Yeah. We're, we're, yeah. We're good. Yeah. I'm not yeah. Gonna I mean, I mean cause, like, cause like, yeah. Cause hey, like, it, it, it's just great <laughs> to have you two back, you know, my yeah. with, with issues was a show that everybody was missing. He was like, man, we missed those two crazy people, man. <laughs> <There's> <laughs> really a, do. Uh, no, I was just going to say there, there was a video that we found on his thing that we were going to record of when we used to play, um, when I when I killed us with grenades, and then oh, also when we were doing the sound check is what I posted, because it was back when we were doing our podcast, and he's like, can you hear me now? And it's just like, yeah, I was, I was, it's time. Didn't you post that, though? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You posted it, yeah. Uh, I had to take a recording video of a recording video, but it worked. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's what mm -hmm. we, yeah, we had to do that. Uh, yeah, NYC says he's around for uh, direct edition tomorrow. I'm down. What was the? Is it a? What time was it? Our time wasn't it? We were doing it. Was it five thirty or six thirty? Six thirty. Six thirty because I used to get off work at Amazon at five thirty. So six thirty Mountain. So that's uh, eight thirty Eastern. Yeah, I think is when we were doing it. Insane. Yeah, got to get back to so many things. Yeah, because like so like our whole vanishing thing like it wasn't like planned. You know, we we're gonna take yeah. like a couple it, months off or something like. We, we literally had been like doing a bunch straight and then like that one Saturday was it the night before or the Saturday morning like we kind of just weren't feeling that great and we yeah, were just it's, like let's it's, just not do a show today you know yeah. it, it started out not feeling good and just n being sick from whatever stomach bug we had caught but then with my um schizophrenia it just i wasn't well with that yeah, so it was like but the big thing then was it was also hangouts like oh yeah it was that's ending true right then it's at the, the same, same time, time as hangouts ended so we didn't like and, quite my, and hop on the train quick enough yeah and i don't think any of us really knew about Streamyard quite yet mm -hmm. i mean I, I think we found it like pretty soon after but so we were kind of in that mm -hmm. well we don't know how the hell we're even doing a, sh a show anyways you know so it's like oh. yeah well and then a car broke down and then we had a, two, two different cars broke yeah, down. Two different cars broke down. But, oh, that's rough. Yeah. Dude, well, I, swear actually, dude, I swear to God, us, us with cars. I don't feel bad for the people that had to come pick up. Well, maybe I do. We've had like, what, 10 cars? Mm -hmm. And we've been together for six years. <laughs> wow. It's not like we're bad drivers or anything. It's, it's why the most recent car we got into, I was telling him, this is our child. We have to keep it alive. Let's be preventative oil change everything just check everything the mechanics and oh speaking sure of which that out. reminded me of something i totally forgot to answer earlier i saw uh, i think it was burke asked in chat if, if we had kids and uh no, no. we don't yeah. that's right <laughs> it was so <laughs> random i totally i meant to answer that he's but. he's already big enough kid for me he my yeah. god and you are for me waking <laughs> your ass up in the morning i know Holy have cow. you ever seen a hypocrite before yeah me but that, yeah. that that's what we love about you two. You know, yeah, yeah, your synergy on your show just makes it that much more great. You know, that's why we enjoy it, you know, because y'all play off each other so well. <laughs> y'all really, <laughs> yeah, really do. Thank you so much. Yeah, I truly you. appreciate that. Yeah, it's just it's it feels good to be back. I know I've said that a billion know, times, does, but it, I'm a yeah. broken record on repeat, and it's just I love it. I I, I just love that everybody's like it just lost my train of thought again. Yeah. 
I'm tired. So, too. so yeah, so you've been popping up on shows more often. Do you have anything like in the works or coming up or? Yeah, I definitely got something in the works. You know, I'm definitely. Uh, you can hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I got yeah. you. Yeah, but well, I definitely got something in the works to just, you know, like a community show, a hangout show. So I'm definitely looking forward to starting that up within the next week or two. But I'll definitely let people know in the video. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. And it's, I've been actually popping up on streams more often lately, and I've been getting the, what? It's, it's like even D-Rung, when I hopped in on and was watching his stream, and he's like, well, he, like, he had to take a double look because he's, he's like, oh, that's the name I haven't seen in a while. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah, I'm back. I came out of the rock I was under. Well, yeah, because, I mean, when you're in chat, I'm sitting right next <laughs> to you. Like, I'm, like, lurking, you know, like, eavesdropping. Yeah. Like, I can hear you. Lurk, you lurking like Perry? <laughs> yeah, like Perry. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And then he'll be turning and making comments. Like, uh, for a Raj show, he kept making comments. He's like, you guys see that? I'm like... Get out your no, join I, the chat there yourself. There was one thing, and and, it, and, I, and, I, and I think it was the puff. I I told you to say something, like say soldier says something. But it was just once I, I told you <laughs> to say something for me. Well, if you want to say something, yeah. just join the conversation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's addicting, dude. Like <laughs> that's why it's great to have you two back. You know, absolutely. Real, it's it's good to be back. Like I mean, we're yeah. So yeah, mm -hmm. Saturday. I mean, we, we're, yeah. So Saturdays and I, I, I guess it's looking like seven Mountain, mm -hmm. uh, nine Eastern. Yeah. So same day, different time. We might look into seeing if it'll work out better to do the show at five, like an hour before Rod, than after, because it, it's just that with my new schedule, it, it I'm rotating weekends, so it's not always guaranteed I'm going to work a weekend. And when I do work a weekend, it's going to rotate between. It's going to vary whether it's saturday or sunday so it's like See, whichever day I'm, I'm, so, I'm so happy i'm so glad i got a job now where i got weekends off because my mm -hmm. previous job i had to work every sunday that was a pain uh, and nobody days. wanted to work on sundays because it was the worst day of the week <laughs> well, the only good thing about it is there's shift differential so i get paid more on saturday and sunday yeah that makes it okay eh. i don't know if it makes it okay it makes it better <laughs> but that's true Almost better, there, I guess. All right. Well, without further ado, do you got anything else you want to say? Uh, no, I think that's yeah. It's pretty much it. <laughs> I just need to get my ass to the LCS. I know, we did. We didn't show all the books, but it's it's good. You'll see them soon enough on on Instagram since I've been posting a ton more. And I still got more posts to do. Like, cause right before Rod show, I was like, okay, seven minutes. I can find this book, and so I found that when I got all the pictures, and I was gonna post it, and then I got sucked into the chat, and it was just all there later. <laughs> yeah, hey, you guys, like, you guys might not know this, but her her responses to your guys' tags sometimes takes her hours and hours and hours and hours that, of putting. That, it so, that that's the one thing I do. I'll be like, sometimes I get so many tags, I feel overwhelmed and don't feel like doing it at all. Right. Well, he'll, he'll give me crap for it because sometimes it's like I, it'll take I'll be going to like respond and it'll be like an hour later and you're like you're still working on that same thing mm -hmm. and I'm like yeah I changed yeah. my mind to how I wanted to phrase it because I'm like always rewriting it and I'm like well it's just a perfectionist I mean I used to do the same thing though because like I would be I would, I would think of like a different book you know like a better mm -hmm. book to do or something like where I'm like no I'm gonna do that one or it's usually the hashtags that I get stuck on yeah and then, yeah, all those. Indeed. All right. Well, I think all right, that to do. Yeah. Thank you, everyone in chat, for hanging out. Thank you so much, yes, for tuning in. Uh, we will probably stay at stay at seven or maybe five. We'll look into it and let you know. But we're back. We are back. And nonetheless, thank you so much. John for being here with us. I'm I'm glad yeah, you made I'm so it. So glad we got you on. I felt bad at first because I I didn't want to cut. Rod's time. We're like, no, it's your fortieth episode. Yeah, it's, true. it's forty episodes. It's, it's no. I would, I, I would have joined you guys regardless of what time Rod would have ended. You know, if Rod would have ended over the time, I still would have came on with you guys. Yeah, for real. Yeah, for sure. I'm glad you did. All right, have a good night, everyone. We'll see you later. We don't know how this works. We're still learning. I think we just hit end right. Yeah. Have a good night. Live long and prosper. <laughs>